ultimate meeting place, it's All Night with Joey Reynolds. I'm Big J Zorensen from CBS FM. Our guest tonight, Chairman of the Fisher House Foundation, Kenneth Fisher. Musical guest, Bob Basaccia and his trio. And now, like Obama, the guy who also got a letter from Gaddafi to stop bombing, Joey Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, you know, Bob Asaccio is a good friend. And he uh -huh. happens to be an architectural consultant, mm -hmm. but uh, I happen to be his consultant. I'm, right. his, I'm his spiritual advisor. Good. And every day I pray that he becomes Frank Sinatra. <laughs> but it hasn't happened. Not yet. <laughs> but he's on his way. Bob doesn't want to be Frank no, he Sinatra. Doesn't. Bob wants to be Tony Bennett. Oh. <laughs> Bob's a big fan of Kenny Fisher and the Fisher family. He's, uh, he was in on it when they brought the Intrepid over here. Mm -hmm. He's, he loves the family and everything they do. And this Fisher house is a, houses families in the military. That's a great cause. And it is a great cause. And so we asked Kenny to be on. But, but to warm up Ken, yeah. we have, have to have Bob. Yeah. Because Ken wouldn't do this without Bob. Would. Oh. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be around. Because you are. Because you are sunshine of my life. Uh, you ain't no Stevie Wonder. <laughs> the President of the United States is a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and um, the money he, he won for his prize he gave to the Fisher House. You know, when you have a, uh, an organization as you do in the Fisher House, I, you started out with what? I don't know where you started with this thing. Well, it, it began in 1990 by my late uncle, Zach Fisher, yeah. uh, who was a patriot in every sense of the word. The first house actually opened at Bethesda in 1990. And then shortly after that came a house at Walter Reed, then one down at Brook Army Medical in San Antonio, and then one up at uh, Fort Lewis uh, in Washington State. So we pretty much covered the regions. But when it was uh, in the early days, Zach financed this totally by himself. So the kind of, uh, the families that needed to use the house, their loved ones were suffering training accidents or, or had problem pregnancies or something along those lines. We didn't see the kind of wounds and the kind of uh, impact to the families that we're seeing today. How many places are, do you have now? There are 54 in operation as we speak. Three more will open within the next three months and we will break ground on four more uh, by the end of the year. And, and it's a voluntary action. That's what I was getting at. Well, it, it's, it works because of that. Uh, I, it couldn't work if we had to fundraise uh, for the, to maintain the houses in perpetuity. Uh, it, would, it would lessen our impact around the country. We've worked out a, this public-private partnership with the government, uh, whereas after we build the houses, we gift them to whichever branch they serve. Oh, I see. They, in turn, will staff the house and maintain the house. That allows us to go on and bless the next community or the next base or hospital uh, while they are maintaining the houses so we don't have to fundraise because that would become uh, very, very problematic for us. Bob Bisacci is going to sing another song. You know who should sing with him is Rick Younger. Rick now, Rick does The Sunshine of Your Life. He does a great impression of... Stevie, um, Wonder. Uh, Stevie Wonder, yeah. you know. <laughs> but Bob's got another song up his sleeve here, and here he is celebrating the Fisher House appearance of Kenny Fisher. Here's Bob Bisaccia. This song I like to dedicate all of the viewing tonight to all of the Fisher House. I see trees of green, red roses too. What a wonderful world Yes, I say to myself What a wonderful world Oh, yeah There is such a need for wounded veterans of the conflicts that are going on 
it, that we're involved in, is the need possibly ever met there? I mean, can we do it? Well, uh, you, you know, we, we've because of the way we operate, we've been able to to keep up with the need, but it's also due to the generosity of American people. Mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, if we weren't uh, if we weren't successful in, in fundraising and we're, 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 our impact would would no, be nowhere near what it is today, so we've been able to kind of keep up with it, uh, especially at the Department of Defense hospitals. The VA system, as I said, is going to go on and on uh, because of the amount of rehabbing. So that's an ongoing thing. But you know, knock on wood, we've been able to kind of keep pace. He's done a fantastic job. You've known everyone. him since he was a kid, right? Oh, yeah, Honestly, we go back a long time. Tell about that a little bit, because, you know, he's, you're, you've been around a little bit. You don't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you know, you know, you call him Kenny, so you know right. him when he was a Well, a we young, go back a long time. A little boy. And, I, and I've had the privilege of, of working for the family and serving the family, and they have been just marvelous for me and my family. But let's embarrass him for a minute, all right? Oh. Let's, wait, let's embarrass him. When he was a kid. Well, he was a kid. I remember when he was sweeping the floors at 299 <laughs> Park <laughs> Avenue, you know, where his office is. That's true. And uh, it, it's, it, it goes back so to the I, point. The reason I'm mentioning it, because you told me, and I want uh, the public to, you know, once in a while we know that people are successful. But we think they all got there because the father just put them in a place. Uh, uh, many of the kids uh, had to work their way up. You want Oh, he worked his way up, man. And uh, you know, it was the, the initiatives that Zach had started had become so great, had become so big and so vital that the family as a whole got together and kind of divvied up what Zach had done. And you know, when Tammy and I, my wife, spoke about it, uh, we knew the commitment was going to be uh, far-reaching, and we knew that it was going to take time and a lot of travel and so forth, but. It, it was so compelling. I mean, the first time that, that Tammy and I went to Walter Reed was after they started coming back from Afghanistan in 01, oh. after 9-11. And I remember a story uh, where Tammy and I walked into a room and there was a uh, Special Forces uh, sergeant. And he was sitting on the bed and his arm was basically pinned to his body. And his wife, uh, Tammy and I were, were just outside and his wife said, the, the fishers are here. And we walked in, and he got up off the bed and came over to shake my hand as best he could. And I shook his hand, and he said, thank you to me. And I, I said, but we're here to thank you. And he said, no, you don't understand what this is doing for me, having my wife here and having my family. And I turned around, and I walked out of the room. If you didn't have a tear in your eye, you don't have, a, you don't have an emotional bone in your body. And after, I think, that day, uh, even though Tammy and I were already involved, we were totally hooked. Yeah. Watching the families that give up so much for their kids, and these young people, these young women, these young men and women, sacrificing what they're sacrificing, we can't forget them. And if, it, 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 It's just an emotional thing. And what Kenny's been doing with his wife, Tammy, has been incredible, yeah. full time. The most important thing that I would like uh, the viewers to know is, is that when you donate to Fisher House, uh, 96 cents on every dollar goes to the program. That's number one. Uh, there are a variety of ways you can check us out. Uh, first of all, you can visit our, our website, of course, but there are, there are mechanisms now uh, on the internet and, and through various other means that you can check on us. And you can check on other foundations. Uh, and Fisher House has just gotten its seventh straight four-star rating from Charity Navigator, which is unprecedented. Uh, when you donate to us, we are, you need to know that we are operating as if we were a public company that didn't need to be bailed out. First of all, I don't take a dime from this at all. I don't benefit from this. This foundation cost me money. So I don't sit back as a chairman and, and collect money. I don't take reimbursements or anything of that nature. So when I travel, or I go to Congress to, to ask for money, uh, that's the extent of our lobbying. We don't do direct mail. We don't do anything. I don't believe in spending a dollar to make a dime. I'll spend a dime to make a dollar, but not the other way around. What's the, what's the actual website? Uh, Fisherhouse.org. OK. No matter what your political flavor is, really has no impact on the support that these men and women and their families must have when they're wounded. They be, their families have to become America's families. That we owe these men and women a debt and their families, because the families serve too. Yeah. 
If a family member is wounded, bills don't stop coming. They still have mortgages to pay. They still have bills to pay. It, it, life does not stop because somebody has given so much to this nation. I, I would like to meet your wife, too. I wish oh, she she's, uh, wish she let me right. tell you that you want to know how I do what I do mm -hmm. uh, and how I stay you know, relatively balanced, and, and it's because of her. She is the manager of the most important Fisher House, which is my own. But uh, she has been a steadying force in my life, like I can't tell you. I mean, I can't say enough about it. She's my wife. She's my best friend. She's the best mother in the world. I'm, I'm given the latitude to do the things that I do because of her. But she's much better looking than I am, much, <laughs> much prettier than I am. And uh, she really is something else. Is and you, you say, well, you know, what keeps me going, you know, given the fact that I'm, you know, I still do have a business to run uh, without which there would be no philanthropy. That's what keeps me going, is the fact that these families are doing what they're doing. And I've been to Iraq. I know the conditions that they're under. I went to six forward operating bases in one day. I remember seeing, without complaining at all, uh, they had just one, one fob had just gotten hot water. One had just gotten hot meals. Nobody ever said a word, except, sir, I'm privileged to be able to do what I do. When you go to the hospitals and you see them laying in the bed and you say, how are you? They feel guilty about being there. They want to get back, back to their unit. All they say to me is, sir, when can I go back to my unit? It's the most unbelievable mindset, uh, and, and that's not even doing it justice. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my entire life, is to spend time with these, especially those who have been wounded, huh. and, and see what their thought process is, what they think, and talk to them and see how devoted they are to this country and to the, to the freedoms that we take for granted, yeah. whether it's First Amendment rights or whatever, and you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Um, it's, it's just an, an incredible thing, and I'm so privileged to be able to do what I do that, you know, and when, when I say that to you, I'm not saying it to you because it's, it's the pat uh, response or it's, it's what you want to hear. I'm telling you that it is, there's no greater privilege than to be able to be part of this and support these men and women. Incredible. Members. It's, oh, it's really amazing. Really. Oh, what, a, what a great family you have. And uh, Thanks, it's a family tradition, and, and it's lovely. It's just lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're a great man. Thanks. I bet your uncle didn't know you were going to be this great. <laughs> I'd love to have five minutes with him, just, just so he could see where we've taken it. Yeah. Incredible. So you come back here anytime. Whenever you'll have and me. we go to fisherhouse.org. And uh, support those women guys. And support. Ken, Ken Fisher, Ken Fisher. Thank you so much. Fisher House. Thank you.